Hello guys and welcome to another episode. It is really nice to see your smiley faces even though I'm just seeing the camera but I know you're there so thank you for being here again and today I want to talk to you about how to use this little guy, the metronome. My name is Martino and in this episode I'm going to try to help you how to use the metronome properly because this is what I've seen around. A lot of students know that they have to practice with the metronome but the thing is that um, they're not really practicing with the metronome, but because they're not aware of the click. So a common mistake is this, that if we turn it on, okay, you're supposed to play with the click. Doom, 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 at whatever speed, okay, doesn't matter, okay? What happens though, instead of playing with the click, you play off the click, you go doom, 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 where you're actually supposed to be with the click. So if this happens to you, we're going to fix it super quickly in a very simple exercise in under three minutes. So you ready? Let's do it. Let's start the clock at three minutes now. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to play a G if you're on alto, uh, a C if you're on tenor. Okay. We're going to play two G's and each G is going to have four counts. Okay. I'm going to play for two bars, which means eight clicks. And then I'm going to leave space for you to, to play as well. Okay. So Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great, your turn. One, two, three, and go. And cool, awesome, beautiful. Now, same thing, still the G, okay, but still this time we're gonna hold it for three beats, okay? Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, now your turn. One, two, go. Awesome, cool stuff, okay? Next, same thing, hold the G, but this time for only two clicks. See where I'm going with this, okay? Let's do it. One, two, one, and two. Your turn. One, two, one, and two. Beautiful, okay? Now, one note per click, okay? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and go. And that's it, okay? So this is really important because uh, it's gonna develop, it's gonna improve your awareness of the timing, of internal timing, okay? So counting is easier than actually playing with the click, okay? So if you do that first, then when you play with the click, it'll be more accurate, okay? So do this for a while and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments if it makes sense, if it works, if it doesn't work, what issues you have and stuff like that. I don't know what we are with time, but I think we're within the three minutes. So that's it, guys. Hope it works. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Do the whole drill. You know what it is. And I'll see you in the next video. And take care, guys. And before you go, don't forget to, to do something. But I forgot what it was. Give me a second. And don't forget, you can join our saxophone performance classes on Patreon. And also, if you need any information about lessons, you can email me at martino at londonsaxophoneschool.com or just go in the description below and you'll see a bunch of contact details in there. Take care.